Good morning, good afternoon, whenever you guys are watching this. Hello, my name is Rachel Cruz. Uh, you may have seen me over at a virtual or on a virtual class at the Cupertino Sports Center. Um, today we are going to be going through a full body beginner uh, to intermediate uh, yoga flow. Uh, we will be taking it uh, pretty slow to warm up and then we will build some heat uh, throughout the middle, but you guys should feel pretty flexible and nice and loose after this. Okay, we're really going to focus on grounding down today, so really becoming one with our Mother Earth here. Um, as you see, I do have some blocks um, as accessories today. They are not necessary, but they do help you um, bring the ground up in certain positions. Um, so you will see me throughout the class um, use these um, at a different point. Feel free if you have them at home, grab them at the same time. I'll guide you how to use them. If not, don't worry, I'll show you how to use them without them as well. So let's first things first, take a seat on your mat. If you don't have a mat at home, grab a towel, grab a blanket, something to prop yourself up, something nice and soft to sit on. Sit up nice and tall. Bring the belly button in towards the spine, lengthening nice and tall. Go ahead and close your eyes. Maybe you're not quite comfortable with the eyes closed. Take a soft gaze out in front of you. Begin to bring some attention to your breath. Taking a few breaths here on your own. Not necessarily trying to control the breath, but just noticing it. Are your breaths really shallow and quick? Or nice and deep and long? Beautiful. Start to slow it down. Listen to whatever you can hear outside around you with the eyes closed. Really tune in to the noises surrounding you. And as you ground down, visualizing what parts of the body are making contact with the floor. Your ankles, your sits bones, your glutes, long spine. Roll your shoulders back and down like you were putting them in your back pockets. Continue to breathe. Set an intention for class today as we move through these motions. Why did you show up? Why did you click on this link? Why are you watching this video today? Reach your arms up in the air, inhale. And hands through heart center, exhale. Holding on to that intention. Sweep the arms up, you can open the eyes. And exhale, palms down, tenting the fingers onto the floor. Taking your first side bend. Inhale, side bend over to your right side. Back through center, inhale, and over to the left. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, reach forward, making sure your glutes, your sits bones, stay glued onto the mat. Reach your arms forward as if someone was pulling on those fingertips. Inhale, back up. Take your first torso rotation over to that right side. Sitting up nice and tall here. Sweep the arms up. Again, to the opposite side. Make sure you don't lean into that back arm, pushing that torso nice and up. Look over that left shoulder. Reach the arms up. Second rotation. Exhale. Good. Keeping your left hand on the outside of the right knee. Lift that right hand up. Inhale. Take a side bend. Exhale, you have opposite hand on opposite knee. Flip your arms up to have the palms face in towards each other to find eagle arms. Lift those elbows off of your chest and as far forward as possible. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, belly button in towards the spine, elbows towards your belly button. Taking two more just like that. Move with your breath. Inhale up. And exhale. 
one more inhale it up lift those arms as high as possible get a nice stretch in the shoulders and the upper back and exhale neutral spine uncross those hands keep them on the knees float the fingers up the body inhale exhale take that rotation over to the other side again finding length in your spine looking over that shoulder keep that right hand on the outside of that left knee sweep that left hand up and over side bend Good. hand finds opposite knee. Flip the hands to turn and face towards each other for eagle arms. Don't be discouraged if your hands don't come all the way together, okay? Be humble here in your body. Inhale up and exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale, lift those arms up, and exhale, neutral spine, uncross the arms and float those fingers up, take a forward bend, reach over, don't allow your hands to rest onto the floor quite yet, take a deep breath in, exhale, reach those arms as far forward as possible your glutes still glued to the floor and let the elbows come down to the mat if possible or if you guys have a block at home elbows to the block and rest take three deep breaths in open mouth exhale two more last one Extend those arms back out, walk it back up, reach the arms up. All right, we're gonna turn on over onto your hands and knees, cow cat. So first things first, the most basic position here is hands underneath your shoulders for a basic tabletop, your knees directly underneath your hips top of the feet nice and flat on the floor bring your belly button in core nice and tight push the floor away from you and then that same cow cat motion drop your belly look forward exhale belly button in towards the spine here's cow and cat two more motions moving with your own breath Last one. Beautiful, and take your first child's pose. Send your hips back towards your heels. Extend your arms forward. Nourish the body with this pose. Your forehead can come down onto the mat or can come onto a block. and then walk your hands over to the left side of your mat, keeping the palms glued to the floor. Deep breath in. Exhale. And back over to the other side. Make your way through the center. Palms flat, deep breath in. And exhale. Back to the middle, move that block if you used it. And you're gonna press up to downward facing dog. Your hips are gonna go up towards the ceiling. Pedal out those knees, alternating right and left. Slowly walk your feet all the way up towards your hands to the top of your mat. Hang nice and heavy. Slowly inhale and rise up. Mountain pose to Dasana. Inhale up and exhale forward fold down for your toes. Inhale, halfway lift to the shins, keeping a flat back. Exhale, hands to the mat. If you have blocks, hands to the block. Step your right leg back. Let the knee come onto the floor or to the mat, whatever you're using. 
Stacking the front knee and ankle. Low crescent lunge. Sweep the arms and the heart up towards the sky. Roll your shoulders back and down. And breathe. Hands down to the floor. Tuck the toe. Step together and switch. Left knee to the floor. Sweep the arms up, low crescent lunge. Try not to hinge your hips too far forward. Abs nice and tight. And breathing, hands to the blocks or to the mat. Tuck the toes, step together. Bring it up. Arms above head, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step your right leg back. This time, keep your right knee elevated. Off of the mat, sweep the arms up. High crescent lunge. And hold. Shoulders roll back and down. Right knee over right ankle. Hands down to the floor. Step it back and switch. Sweep the arms up. Shoulders roll back and down. Hands to the floor. This time if you have blocks, move them out of your way. Step it back to high plank position. Nice and strong. Inhale, lean forward. Option, drop to your knees. Exhale down to the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale down, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Pedal your knees out. And walk your feet to the top of your mat. Slowly roll it up. Inhale, and exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, forward fold, right leg back, sweep the arms up, hands through heart center. Okay, it's going to get a little tricky here. You guys have the option to stay on the knee. Okay, I'm going to show you the modified on the knee, same thing. You're going to take a rotation over and around that knee. Hooking that outside elbow around that knee. Advanced. We're gonna take it right here. Everybody's holding. Ooh, building some heat. Back to the center. Hands down. Step that foot back. Downward facing dog. Right leg up. Step it forward. Sweep the arms up. Roll your shoulders back and down. Roll your shoulders back and down. You're here. You're breathing. Hands to heart center. Same option to modify or to take the advanced. You're stabilizing, core is tight. Back to the center, hands down. Step it back, downward facing dog. High plank position. Inhale, lower down. Bring it up, upward facing dog. Exhale down, press it up, downward facing dog and walk your feet to your hands at the top of your mat. And roll it up nice and slow. Arms up. And exhale forward fold. You're doing great, guys. Breathe. Halfway lift. Exhale. Right leg back. Okay, we're mixing it up a little bit here. So notice the change in the direction. So your arms will come up. As soon as the arms come up, your back leg shifts. 
We're going into warrior two, opening up that back hip. Arms go out opposite directions. Good, stacking knee over ankle. And breathe. Don't forget about your hands in the back. Warrior two is a powerful pose. Keep breathing. Rotate those hands down. Step it back. Right leg up. Step it forward. Get ready. Sweep the arms up. Seal that back foot down. Warrior two. Stacking front knee over ankle. Extending those fingers forward and back. One more breath in this pose. And cartwheel those hands to the ground. Step your leg back. Inhale. Exhale. Upward dog. Downward dog. And walk your feet forward. Hang out in a forward fold. Slowly roll it up. Palms facing forward, mountain pose. Take a breath here. Breathe, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Two more, just like that. Squeeze your shoulder blades back, core nice and tight. Ground your feet into the floor. And exhale. Last one. Beautiful. Shake it out for a second. That was a lot of seriousness. Okay, for the next couple, you're gonna need a little bit of balance and we are gonna sequence. Um, we're gonna use a lot of the lower body here. So if you guys have any injuries, any working with any knee issues, um, be aware of any discomfort, okay? Moving forward, we're gonna go into our chair pose. So breathe with me. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale. Exhale, swing those arms. Exhale, one more, just getting warm. Exhale, sweep those arms up, sit into a chair. So those feet are about hip distance. You're sinking into those glutes and hamstrings. Arms are up. Try and keep those armpits by the side of your ears. Palms facing in towards each other. And breathing. One more breath here. Stand up tall, inhale, forward fold, exhale. And roll it up nice and slow. Okay. Moving into our tree pose here. So first things first, make sure you guys are on a flat surface and if you're not, just be aware that it's not 100% flat. Um, you're gonna ground down through your feet. Let's find that mountain pose, so nice and strong. Shoulder blades squeezing, palms facing forward. Ground down through three parts of your foot, the heel, the outside of your foot, and the ball of your foot. Breathe. Shift your weight over to that right side. Okay, you're gonna kickstand that left foot. Externally rotate, you're gonna turn it open. Okay, I wanna see the inside of that leg. Rest it onto that calf. Shoulders rolled back. Okay, so this is your first option of tree pose. A couple options for your hands above your head or in heart center. All right, you have the option here to take it one level up. Okay, and last one here in the inner thigh. Make sure you're not applying any direct pressure to the inside of the knee. Core is nice and tight. Stand nice and tall. One more breath. Arms up, bring that knee to face in, shake it out. Woo, good job. That leg that just stands there does a lot of work for you. Okay, ground down to Dasana Mountain Pose. Roll your shoulders back. Exhale. Good. Externally rotate. It's that right leg this time. Okay. 
Take whatever position, that same variation on this side. Ground down through that stationary foot and show yourself some appreciation that not every time it's gonna be the exact same on each side. Okay, so maybe you have one leg that's a little bit stronger than the other. Maybe you got a little twerk in one. Okay, so definitely just listen to your body. Okay, arms up in the air or to heart center. And breathe. Good, arms up in the air. Inhale, shake it out. Good, get ready to find that chair pose. Inhale, exhale, sit into chair pose. Extend those arms out and forward. Protect those knees. Sink nice and far back into those glutes. One more breath. Bring it up. And a variation here. Take that chair, hands to heart center. Right, you can heel toe those feet in a little bit closer. We're gonna keep the orientation of our knees. Try not to move them, okay? So we're not, try not to jam them side to side. We're here, Ooh, still burning. Inhale, exhale, take that rotation over to one side and breathe. Back to center, other side. Back to center and shake it out. Alternate bending the right leg. Left, right, left. And keep that pace for three and two and one. Slowly roll it up. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna head down onto the mat laying completely flat down onto your belly. Right. So getting into our lower back here. Place the palms nice and firmly into the floor. Okay, if they don't rotate all the way, that's okay. Okay, listen to your body, don't force it to do something uncomfortable. The feet go nice and firm into the floor as well. Roll your shoulders back and down. Breathe. Okay, roll the shoulders back and down and then firmly pushing into the floor. Squeeze the glutes, push firmly into the floor. It doesn't look like a lot, but the lower back is working. Okay, and release. Now we're gonna come up, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, up. Two more. Squeeze your glutes. Last one. And exhale. Counteract that with the child's pose. Send your hips back. And back onto the belly for one more. Hey, just like in the warm-up, um, through that little chaturanga that we did, we're gonna bring your hands right by your rib cage. Okay, so a little bit lower than your armpit, your fingertips nice and wide, your elbows, we don't want them out when nice and wide, we want them super close to the body. So imagine pinning them to your shirt. Okay, top of the feet nice and flat. We're gonna inhale and lift off the floor just about four to six inches. So inhale, press your palms firmly into the floor, Exhale. Okay, and when I mean the lift, your chest is only lifting. Couple inches off and back down. Activate your triceps. Two more, just like that. Last one. And relax. Press it back to that child's pose. Okay, 
Take one more deep breath here. Okay, and bring it back onto the hands and knees. Extend your right leg back. Stretching that calf. You're gonna rock your weight forward and back. And then hold it once you find that stretch. Lift it up. Take a few circles one direction. And the other. Place it down. And switch. Send the leg back. Rock that weight forward and back. Hold that stretch once you find it. Good, lift it up, shake it out. One direction and the other. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna head over onto our back. And we will start actually seated. Make our way onto the back. Your legs straight out in front of you as we take our seated forward fold. Flexing your toes far back towards you. Really, that will extend that stretch in the posterior chain. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Now you're not going for the deepest stretch here. Inhale up. And then we're gonna do three more just like that. Each time getting a little bit further and further. Two more. The last one, we're gonna allow that curve in the spine. Exhale. Reach for those toes. Head will tuck down. And slowly bring it back up. Take wide legs. If you guys have blocks at home, a deeper stretch is um, putting the heels on top of the blocks. If you're able to get a little bit deeper into that inner thigh, um, that hamstring area. Um, but for this one, I'm gonna show you without them. You're gonna open those legs nice and wide, toes pointed up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward. And an inhale up. And reach forward, don't touch the floor. Imagine I'm pulling on your hands. Drop those hands down, cross those elbows. You can drop the forehead down. Extend those arms and walk it back up. Bring your legs in together. Okay, this time allow a little bend in the knees, arms up, fold forward. Alright, before I have you on your back, let's get you here. Right leg forward, really good for the inner thighs, those hip flexors were tight all the time from sitting in a chair all day. So bring your left leg forward right here, okay? 90 degrees in that knee, sweep your arms up and hold, okay? We know this, this is our crescent lunge. You guys got this from the beginning. Hands to the floor, let's change it up a little bit. If you have blocks, this is where you're gonna grab them. This is probably the most beneficial, okay, for, those, for this stretch. You're gonna walk your hands back with or without blocks, straighten that front leg, flex those toes towards you, take a deep breath in, Exhale, lower it down towards that shin. So maybe you can get a little bit lower. You bring these down. Chest up. Still keeping the back leg nice and strong. Okay, you're not reaching all the way back. Bring your weight forward. Both hands on the inside of that left leg. Open it up. Let that knee fall out to the side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. If you have blocks or a blanket, set them down there or you guys can come down all the way. Elbows to the mat. Press 
hips to back up. Beautiful, sweep those arms up. Exhale and switch your right leg forward. Sweep the arms up, low crescent lunge. Hands down to the floor, use those blocks. Let them be your hope, they are your friend. Good, chest up nice and tall and then lower down. Nice and slow. Taking one more breath here. Shift that weight forward. Hands on the inside of that knee. Let that leg fall out to the side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, allow a bend in the elbows. Option to come to a block or down to the mat. Press it back up. Side frame that foot. Both step together. Heel toe your feet nice and wide. And we're going to squat down into a yogi squat. Okay, so now this one, a block is great, okay? If you can't quite get so low, this can be kind of uncomfortable if you got any knee stuff going on. Um, a block is a great place to be, okay? Your hands will go together, your knees into the inside, or the elbows into the inside of the knees, the inner thigh, okay? And then from here, um, if you need to come up one more, beautiful. Option three, yogi squat. Okay, so take whatever position is going to work for you today. Hands together, palms to heart center, take a deep breath in. Exhale. Good. Again, inhale. Exhale. Lift up onto the very ball of the foot, lift those heels. Inhale. And exhale, heels down. Hands on the sides of you. Step down nice and slow. Take a seat. And we're going all the way flat on your back. Extend your legs out nice and long. Bring your leg into the chest. Take five ankle rotations, one direction. And five the other. Hold that knee into the chest, rock side to side. Good, we have the left knee in, and cross it over that body. Left palm out to the side, crossing it over, looking over that shoulder. Take three deep breaths in. Every time, open mouth, exhale. Back to center. And switch. Bring that right knee into the chest. Take five ankle rotations, one direction. And five, the other. Good, place your right hand out to the side. Cross that knee over the body, looking over that right shoulder. One more breath here. And back to the center. This time bringing both knees into the chest, making small circles, massaging your lower back. Take five circles, one direction. And five, the other. And both knees tuck into the chest. Give yourself a big hug. Wrap your arms around. Extend the palms out and open. Palms down to the side. Inhale. Exhale, drop the knees over to the left side. Look over your right shoulder. center inhale exhale over to that left or right side look over that left shoulder and 
and back to the center. Both feet flat on the floor. Okay, going into a glute bridge. Feet firm into the floor. Reach for your heels with your fingertips. Making a figure four, reach your hands in between the legs to pull that leg towards you. Take a couple breaths, rocking side to side. And release slowly and switch. Reach in between the legs, supine pigeon. Rocking side to side. Head can be on or off of the mat. And release. Nice and slow. Tuck the fingers behind the knees. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Sit up all the way forward and reach for those toes. That, and you're gonna do three like that. Lean it back, rock it back, inhale. Let your momentum pull you forward. Reach for those toes, a rock and reach. Last one, bend those knees, roll it down. And reach for those toes. To our final pose um, before we come into our closing of the class here. So final pose, corpse pose, laying flat on your back. Option, if you are at home, um, you have some pillows and blankets, or if you guys have some extra layers, this is where you're going to want to put them on. Temperatures tend to drop in this last pose. Right? Corpse pose, laying completely flat on your back. We're gonna take about a minute or so here. No speaking, I'm gonna guide you to it and then let you be. Lying flat on your back. Let the palms fall open or close, whatever's comfortable for you. Your hands can even rest on the stomach if that's more comfortable. Roll your shoulders back and down away from your ears. Allow your eyes to close. Again, just like in the beginning of class, bringing some attention to your breath. No need to control. Doing a scan of the body from head to toe. With every exhale, allow yourself to release any tension held all the way from the top of the head down to your toes. Releasing any tension held in the forehead. Allow the eyes to sink heavy into the back of the skull. Just flowed 
all the way through your body to the hips that maybe cause some tension. Visualizing your body sinking into the mat like quicksand. All the way through the legs, the lower extremities, all the way to each and every toe. Now that you're here in this final pose, I'll allow you to take a few breaths and just enjoy. blocks underneath. You guys can do that again. Sit up nice and tall here. Allow your eyes to close. <sighs> Take a couple deep breaths in together. Inhale. Open mouth. Exhale. <sighs> yeah, these last three breaths are going to be three part breaths. We're going to take a breath in, hold it, exhale out of the mouth. Take a breath in, Hold. Exhale. Two more, just like that. Inhale. Last one together. And release, drop your head down chin to the chest, interlace the fingers behind your head, assisting that stretch here. Elbows nice and wide, take a breath in, exhale, slight side bend over to one side, back to center, and over to the other side. Back to center, neutral spine. Inhale, arms up. Reach forward. Inhale. Arms to a T. Give yourself a big hug. And show yourself some gratitude today for your body doing the work it just did. Pat on the back. Inhale, open up those arms. Reach around, this time the other arm on top. Good. Walking your fingertips to opposite shoulder blades. Take a deep breath in. Big squeeze. Exhale. Shake it out. Roll it down. All right. Great job, guys. I hope you guys all followed along okay. Um, have a wonderful day. and I hope to catch you guys on another virtual class.